What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Jesus Quesadilla and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Glad to have you guys joining me again here today. Uh, as you guys may recall from the last episode, if you've seen it, we finished off the Phil Cassidy missions that are available to us right now. And today we're going to be moving on to Marty, who is uh, Phil's contact that he kind of set us up with for some work. So let's not waste any more time, let's just jump into things with the first mission we're going to be doing today, Shakedown. Well, well, a trailer park, that's pretty high class. Hello? Marty? Phil Cassidy sent me. Well, hello, Marty. Oh. Hi. Marty ain't home or nothing. Oh. I'm guessing oh, okay. you didn't go to school or nothing either. Well, do you know when he's going to be back? I don't know nothing. Excuse me. What do you want, boy? To finally take missions from someone who's oh, not a pissed off crazy redneck? Yo. Now get gone, boy. Bitch! Bitch! Get your sorry ass out here! Oh great, no, domestic abuse. Shit up. Marty, Mary Beth's been sick. Don't be using that baby as an excuse, Louise. Cause I'll hit her as well as you. Whoa. Are you Louise? I'm a friend of Phil's. Friend of Phil's? Well, why don't you say so, boy? I'm Marty J. Williams. Honored, I, I guess? I was too busy watching you threaten your wife. Well, we was only playing around, boy. He didn't mean nothing by it. He only hits me when I deserve it. Oh, yeah? Well, Phil says you guys might have some work for me. I'm Vic Vance. Yeah, sure. I got a few things need taken care of right now, as a matter of fact. Drive me. And Louise. You better have this shit cleaned up before I get back. You got me? Well, this just seems like it's going to be the beginning of a beautiful and fruitful business relationship. I can see nothing wrong with this picture at all. You know, aside from the fact that we're working for an inbred, wife-beating redneck, but we've worked for worse, so... Eh, in this city, I'll take what I can get. Okay, so this part of the game is going to be the introduction to the, uh, the Empire missions, which... is one of my personal favorite aspects of this game, and we'll be getting more into Empire missions later, so I won't explain them too much. But um, these next couple missions we're going to be doing for Marty are basically the same things that we'll be doing in the Empire missions, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the first thing we're doing here with Shakedown is helping Marty out with his protection business. So if you guys aren't familiar with protection, the idea is basically that you protect store owners from rival gangs, and they pay you a cut of all the money that they make. So Marty sort of manages this area of the okay, city. Now get on in there and teach them idiots a lesson. You're not coming? Why would I employ a dog and then bark myself? Go sick him, pal. There's something rather brilliant about that. In all of his redneck jargon, there's still something very intelligent this hidden underneath that. Go. Anyway, I'm going to pop these shoulders full of lead, and we're going to go ahead and enter the shop and make sure that the oh, store oh, owner oh. is paying Marty his protection money. Which actually reminds me, if any of you guys haven't played it, I highly recommend you play the Please, game The Godfather, uh, you know, based on the movie of the same name. Because it does the, uh, the same idea as this with protection money, but I feel that it does it a whole lot better. Um, the mechanics for uh, getting protection money in that game are actually really fun, and it's one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games, so you guys should definitely feel free to check that one out if you get the chance. I, I think it's a lot of fun. Anyway, kill these guys. And now, hopefully we've intimidated him enough that we can get some money from him. Marty, he's with you? What are you doing letting scum in your store? My protection don't run a no daily visit. Are you hot for me, boy? Is that it? You want to see my pretty face here every day? What? I mean, I... No! Voice of my time, your protection rate just went up. As much as I hate everything else about Marty, you gotta like how he runs his business. Keeps a tight running ship around here. These Cholo boys normally protect a store nearby. What the hell is a Cholo? Now it's gonna need new protection. Let's go get it. Alright, so again, this is another thing that once we're doing Empire missions, we're going to be doing independently of Marty. Uh, that'll be a little bit later in the game, and You're a protection I, I guess and I'll save that for later. I shouldn't really be talking about that. Anyway, I'm going to drive on over to the Cholo's little hangout place, one of the stores that they're protecting, and uh, we're going to go ahead and acquire it for Marty. So I think it's actually just this shop right here around the corner. Don't have to go too far. And it's more or less the same thing, you know, just walk in, fill a couple guys with lead, intimidate them, you know, the whole nine yards. This is it. 
Let's get in there and bring them into the fold. All right, sounds like a plan, Stan. Although I'm pretty sure that this shop is right across from a police department, so... But I pay protection to the Cholo! What the hell is a Cholo? I don't see them protecting you any. Vic, get to work. Marty, this ain't right. You want to get paid? Be a man. Or are you all hat and no cattle? I don't really know what that means. Anyway, uh, so now what we're going to do is just smash up his store Please, with our fists. You know, just That's walk around punching all of his glass For displays and all of his refrigerated no, goods. So, uh, you'll see all these green markers, and basically it's just destructible items that you can destroy with, you know, either a baseball bat or a gun, or in this case, our fists. After a while, some cholos are going to show up to try and protect the store owner, so we're going to fill them with lead. And then, oh, get out of my face, bro. Holy crap, this guy thinks he's Jackie Chan. Or, uh, I don't know, whatever the Latino version of Jackie Chan would be. Jackie Lopez or something. I don't know. I just made that you did a man's shit up. Job today. I might have more work for you. See you around. Looking forward to it. Not. Well, okay. So that's the first mission we're going to be doing, and there's a number of missions we're going to be doing for Marty. So I'm going to go ahead and race on down that way real quick. But 500 bucks, not bad. At least this guy pays well. May not like his methods, but I do like his results. Anyway, bitch, this is now my car. I have confiscated for the greater good. I'm gonna go ahead and make our way down to Marty right now. But, just a little side note, in case you guys didn't know, this is actually my 250th video posted to my channel, which I am just absolutely so excited about. And, uh, you know, I want to do something special in honor of 250 videos, and I will do that at a later date. Um, you know, just to celebrate the fact that I have 250 videos up, about half a million views across all of them, which you know, I think is cause for celebration, so expect something to go up, uh, you know, relatively soon, maybe in the next couple of days to celebrate that landmark achievement for my channel. Um, you know, it may not seem much to some, but to me it's a big deal. And so I just want to thank you guys for helping and supporting me through all 250 videos thus far, including the couple of videos I've had for this series. Anyway, fear the... I guess it says repo. Oh yeah, you work those buns, baby. Put the fork in the garbage disposal. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> hey, Louise. Hey, Vic. How you keeping? Uh, better now. Oh, Vic Vance, is that an AK-47 in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? So, Phil said you was in the service? Something like that. Yeah, but I screwed up. You and me both. No, I screwed up just a little bit more than you did. You're gonna dress like a whore, I'm gonna turn you out. I was doing my aerobics, Marty! For crying out loud, give me a break. I will. A broken fucking neck. You watch Damn, my dude. Goddamn house. Sorry. Need a break? Shoot over Twix, bro. Now what you gonna done, you imbecile? Jesus, woman. Hey, what's up, Vic Vance? Well, I was up a second ago, but then your ugly mug walked yeah, in. Yeah, sure. I got some debt people need to start paying. Well, I, uh, if you don't shut that bread up, woman, I will. Screw you, Marty. You're nothing but an inbred hillbilly piece of shit. You better watch your mouth, Tramp, or I'll knock them teeth out. That's it. I'm taking the baby and I'm going to stay with my sister. Good. Go ahead. Go. Fat ass pig sister of hers. I'll hit her and all three. I think I'm just going to leave right now. I can see uh, I'm here at an awkward time. But yeah, not doing too well there, Marty. You're kind of moving high up there on my shit list. First chance I get to knock this guy off, pretty excited to do it. Anyway, we do have a little more work to do for this scumbag, unfortunately. As much as I hate helping him out in any way. Um, I forget what this mission is about. I think it might be more Empire-related stuff. Um, basically, all of Marty's missions are just preparing you for... Uh, some of these, the game mechanics that we'll encounter later. So that's all this really is. Um, I think we're going to be repoing hey, some cars and stuff. I don't think you got the stones to get it for me. Prove me wrong. <sighs> <laughs> Just growl at him, Vic. Don't worry, we'll be able to do a lot more to him later. Give him a shotgun suppository, courtesy of Phil Cassidy. All right. So first thing we're going to do is repo a car for Marty. And so, basically, uh, when we do get to Empire missions later in the game, your Empire is basically all of your different uh, crime organizations that you run and manage. 
So the first one was a protect uh, a protection ring. Um, this one is a repo hey, sort of business, uh, an illegitimate repo business, because we're going to be taking cars that aren't actually meant to be repossessed legally. We're basically just taking them, kind of like a chop shop uh, for stolen goods. And so Marty's going to send us out to get this this hot rod of a car. Damn, this thing is souped up. I'm going to drop it off in the marker. And next, we have another car to go ahead and grab. Um, outside of these buildings where you take these missions, like uh, repo missions and things like that, there's always going to be a car parked outside for you to use, which is pretty nifty. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can locate this next vehicle, though. And uh, the condition of the car doesn't matter or anything like that. There are other missions later in the game where the condition of the car will be a factor. But in this, I think you can feel free to crash it around a little bit as long as you get it back in one piece before it blows up. But anyway, that car is now taken care of. Let's see what's next on our checklist. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and pop a few bullets in this guy's... Oh, I guess we don't have to do that. He just stopped at the stoplight for us, so we'll spare him the gunfire. I paid Marty off weeks ago, man! Yeah, sorry about that, bro. Just working for the guy. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them, as incredibly broken as they are. So we're gonna drop this off, and then I believe there's one more pickup we need to make for Marty before we're officially done with this mission anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and swing this in. I think the last thing we need to grab, yeah, is a delivery van, which uh, we'll be getting more of those later when we do uh, more of our own repo missions for ourselves. But basically, these delivery vans are carrying goods, and so things like TVs, I think. And so we steal them, and that way Marty can sell them off and make a profit. So basically, he's got some pretty smooth operations going on, and we haven't even seen all of them yet. We haven't even gotten into his prostitution ring, which uh, is actually the biggest money earner when we get into Empire missions. Um, of the three things you start out with, prostitution rings, uh, repo, and what is it, protection? Prostitution stuff is actually the thing that's going to generate you the most income. So, that'll probably be at a later time, though. But anyway, I think we're getting close to where this van is. Let's just go ahead and see what if I can grab this go? really quickly. Oh my god, get on my face! Oh god, please don't pull me out of the car. Please don't pull me out of the car. Okay, good. Ooh, and we got a two-star wand level there, so that's something to watch out for. So we got to get the van back. And okay, in this instance, you'll notice there are actually some uh, TVs in the back of the truck. We want to get back with as many of those still intact as possible. Um, I believe that if too many of them fall out that you fail the mission. So just try not to bang into too many walls if it can be helped. In my case, it really can't because I'm not the best driver in the world and I'm dealing with a little bit of lag here on my TV. I think I might want to turn down the HD settings at some point just to reduce the lag. Or looking some way into adjusting that. But anyway, excuses, excuses. Oh. Alright, so just dodge the cops here. I guess if you want to, you could stop the pay and spray and lose the heat that way. But I'm not too concerned with that because, uh... Whoa, Marty's place is actually very, very close. And it's not going to be too hard to get back. And once we drop this bad boy off, we are going to be done. And we are going to be collecting a little more chingage, which is always nice. Okay, go ahead and swing this in. Hey, get that van out of here! Why do I get the impression none of those debts were genuine? Whatever I say is mine is mine. And what I say goes. If you want to get on around here, you'll learn that one, kid. Kinda like that philosophy. I'm gonna remember that for when I'm on top. And okay, another 500 bucks. And I believe we're gonna get a quick little text message here, so let's go ahead and wait for that. And it's Louise, uh, his wife. Drop by if you get time. Ooh. Sultry and seductive, Louise. You're gonna get me in trouble with my employer here. But anyway, we're gonna to have to explore that later because that brings an end to today's episode. Once again, guys, thank you for helping me to celebrate 250 videos on my channel. It has been an absolute blast. I'm looking forward to another 250 more and even more beyond that. And uh, I hope you guys will be along with the ride for all of those too. But anyway, guys, once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to me, and you'll be updated when new videos are posted to my channel. Otherwise, thanks, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Jesus Quesadilla, signing out and wishing you well. Peace!